ta 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 Welcome back to La Bam. Hello, my fellow LEGO lovers. I'm Cameron Schreiner from Georgia Tech, and today's video is going to be going over light sensor programming. Uh, I'm going to give you a basic program on how to teach the light sensor what's what, and then I can give you uh, a simple use for the light sensor in competition, and also give you some tips and hints. So grab a computer with your robot, uh, with a light sensor attached, and try to have a two-shade surface, like maybe a white table and some blue painter's tape, and let's get started. Okay. So let's build a light sensor program. And for now, I'm just going to call it Light Basics and hit go. So the program we're going to build is a very simple one. And what I want my robot to do is it's going to drive forward forever and then stop when it sees blue tape. So the first code I need to add is my movement block, drive forward forever. Make sure the correct ports are checked. I want it to go forward and straight. I'm going to go ahead and turn my power up to 100. And I want it to drive forward forever, so I'm going to set the duration to unlimited. Now we need to add the light sensor code. And for this program, I just need for it to wait for blue tape. So I'm going to add a wait command. It's the one with the sun. And I want to make sure that it says light sensor. The port default for the light sensor is 3. So I have my light sensor plugged into port 3, but you can choose whichever one you want. Just remember that the default is 3. Now, my robot is driving forward forever until it sees blue tape. Now, I have two different, uh, two different colors. I have my white table and I have blue tape. And in this case, we set our blue tape to the minimum, and so our blue tape is closest to black, so I want to make sure the black sun is checked. Now, there's no gray area on my table. It's either white table or blue tape. So I can leave the ratio at 50% because I don't have to look for a range of color at all, or a range of reflection more so. So now we're going to go ahead and download this to the robot. Uh, okay, well first you're going to make sure your robot is plugged in and turned on. There we go. My bad. Hit OK. And I'm going to download it again. Wait for it to compile. Okay, so let's look at our robot and see what happens. It's time for some handheld camera program demo action. So let's go ahead and see what we just programmed and see how it works. So I've turned on my robot and I'm going to down from my files and I'm going to choose software files. Now if you notice I have two programs here. I only downloaded one, but you have to remember that we downloaded the calibration program earlier. You don't need to run the calibration program again. The only time you need to run that is if your colors change, or let's say if the lighting in the room changes drastically. Otherwise, you shouldn't have to run this again. So make sure you're running your light sensor program and not the calibration. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, remember, we asked our robot to drive forward forever until it sees blue tape and it should stop when it sees blue tape. Now, the second that light sensor touches blue tape or sees it, it should stop immediately. So let's see what happens. If you notice, my robot ran over the blue tape but then stopped a solid foot after the tape. Now, it should have stopped immediately. So let's go back to our program and see what happened to figure out how to fix this. So if you remember, our robot stopped after the blue tape. Now why is that? What was our program supposed to do? So we said that the robot should drive forward forever and stop when it sees blue tape. So we have the drive forward forever, and we have the code that says, okay, now I've seen blue tape. But then nothing happens. How many actions did we have in our program? Drive forward forever is one. 
C blue tape is two, and stop is three. So robots are completely ignorant. You have to tell them every step. So in this case, we forgot to tell the robot to stop. So it didn't know what to do. So it waited for about a half second to a second to try to see if there was any more code, and then it just shut down the program because there wasn't anything left. So we actually have to tell our robot to stop. So add a third movement block to the end, and just hit the little stop sign in the direction section. So now our robot should move forward forever, and the second that light sensor senses our minimum, or blue tape, it should stop completely. So let's re-download this to the robot and see if it worked this time. All right, so this time it should stop the second it sees blue tape. Okay, so I'm gonna rerun my Light Basics program, and this time it should stop immediately. And if you noticed, right when the light sensor ran over the blue tape, my robot stopped on the point. So now, the reason for me doing that was just to help you remember that you have to program every step. You can't just assume the robot's gonna do something you want it to. You have to make sure to tell it. So that's it for Light Sensor Basics. I'll see you next time on LaBam where we'll go over some basic competition uses for the light sensor. So thanks for watching. Light sensor.